always set up a wet floor sign before you start mopping. Even with Hygiene's fast drying microfiber technology, safety comes first. This is Doug. He takes pride in his job. In this installment, we'll learn the four types of microfiber cleaning pads available and how to best use them. So you said these pads prevent cross-contamination. How does that work? The Rubbermaid Hygiene Microfiber Pads are each designed for specific tasks, such as wet and dry mopping, aggressive cleaning, floor finishing, and large spill cleanup. Once you've used a pad in an area, you simply remove it from the frame and drop it into the laundry bag on your cart. It's easy, and it effectively eliminates the threat of cross-contamination. Really? So uh, how much space can I cover with one single damp mopping pad? About 250 to 300 square feet. That's great. It's about the size of our resident rooms. So uh, how do I get this pad off anyway? The pad is secured to the frame with a simple hook and loop system. Oh yeah, so you mean velcro? <clears throat> copyright protection, Doug. Come on, narrator, everybody calls it velcro. No, copyright protection. Okay, okay, fine. Whatever you call it, easy enough. Very good, Doug. Make sure you use the right size pad for the frame. 18 inch pads are standard for resident rooms. For dust mopping large rooms, use larger pads. A 24, 36, 48, or 60 inch pad allows you to clean more of the floor with each pass. Thanks for the tip. So what are my options for cleaning up that massive coffee spill in the kitchen there? The Rubbermaid Hygen microfiber pads are color coded so you know you're using the right pad for the right surface. Blue pads are used for damp mopping, like wet mopping, but require significantly less water. That means reduced drying time and less risk of slips and falls. In fact, by the time you finish mopping room, the area where you started will already be dry. So I can use this anywhere I wet mop, resident rooms, hallways, common rooms, dining rooms, that sort of thing? Exactly. Blue pads are only available in 11, 18 and 24 inch sizes, but you can attach two 24 inch pads to a 48 inch frame or two 18 inch pads to a 36 inch frame you know, to cover more of the surface area. The green pad is for dry mopping. It's like a dust mop. It cleans about three rooms on average and it's also available in a non-fringe style, whichever you prefer. Some people prefer the non-fringe pad in areas where the fringe could get caught on equipment or furnishings in the room, like casters on a bed in your resident room. Yeah, this thing looks like it could get the job done. Doug, you should be warned that pads shouldn't be used with water or on a wet surface. Okay, I won't, but why not? If that green pad gets wet, it's almost impossible to move it across the floor. I mean, it's a good way to get into a bad fix if you try to work against the equipment. So even as quick drying as the damp pad is for safety's sake, I should use this first? Right on, Doug. If you need to dry mop an area that has liquid on the floor, the high absorbency pad is the perfect solution. It functions as a dry mop and can also absorb spills. Each pad can hold 24 ounces of liquid. Once you absorb the spill, place the high absorbency pad into your laundry bag on your cart. And don't worry, it won't trip on the way back to your cart. For sticky or tacky floors, use the blue and yellow scrubber pad. It has special non-abrasive strips on it to scrape off accumulated gunk, like gum or tar or spills left overnight anything that requires some extra effort to take up with a conventional mop. And make sure you use it damp so that you activate the microfiber on the pad. Well, if I don't get out there soon, that's going to be the one to use. I need to clean up that coffee. Let's go over what we've learned today. To avoid cross-contamination, replace the pad with a new one before moving into a new room or floor surface. Larger pads mean less passes are needed to clean a room. The blue pad is for wet or damp mopping. The green pad is for dry mopping. The blue pad with fringe is for spills. And the blue and yellow pad is for scrubbing sticky floors or tough stains.